Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to remove the battery and replace it with a new one in the Asus X551M. Okay, to begin with, let's flip the laptop over and grab a screwdriver, a Phillips at that, so that we can remove the nine screws that are on the back of the laptop. And once done, we can go ahead and pop them out and while we're doing that, be sure to make a diagram like I have here that shows exactly where each screw goes on the back of the laptop because they are different sizes that range from small, medium to large. Okay, once you have all of the screws removed, we can go ahead and flip the laptop over and sit it down upright and lift the lid now we are going to go ahead and remove or separate the top portion of the um, keyboard assembly uh, lid here from the bottom portion and you can use your fingernails or um, a plastic credit card will work also it's just being held on by some plastic uh, clips and uh, once you've detached it do not remove it completely um, don't touch it um, any further until you watch the rest of this, which is you open up the front gently because you can see now that there are three ribbon cables that are attached to the motherboard and the top assembly of the uh, um, laptop that uh, has the keyboard and the mouse pad and so forth. Now these are detachable by lifting the lip and removing the ribbon cable. Um, it's very easy. You don't need any special tool. And then you can go ahead and put the um, lid um, or the top portion of the laptop to the side. All right, now we have complete access to the battery and um, it's just sitting in there and you just move it a little bit and pull straight up and it will um, come right out for you. It takes a little bit of work, but um, it's not in there with any special screws or clamps of any type. All right, I took the original out and I, am, uh, I just grabbed the new one that I bought off of eBay for 20 bucks and this one has a, a little bit more juice to it so to speak um, it's 14.4 um, volts versus 11.5 uh, volts okay up next is the ease part of the video and all we need to do is gently drop the new battery back into the slot where the old battery was and push it down make sure that it is in there tightly no special screws or clamps required and then grab the lid here and we can go ahead and reassemble the laptop and as you can see we need to attach these ribbon cables back to the motherboard and uh, it is not that easy but take your time it can be done a uh, simply go into a little groove there and then once you've got it in the groove you push on the white lip and that uh, attaches the ribbon cable back in place and the larger ribbon cable does require both hands at least for me and then once those are done you can go ahead and snap the lid back to the bottom portion of the laptop by pressing down on the edges and once completed close the lid and then let's go ahead and flip the laptop over to the bottom side and uh, refer to that diagram that we made earlier to make sure that the screws go back into the nine holes correctly um, so that um, we have the proper screw in the proper hole once completed we can go ahead and flip it back upright, open up the lid, and press the power button. And we do have juice, and the new battery has been installed. One last thing, if the new battery needs to be fully charged, be sure to plug your AC plug into the laptop. All right, subscribe if you like, and leave a like if you like.